Wow, man. Talk about getting your mutant buzz on. Come to you high atop Indica Springs, Colorado. And I mean high. <laughs> and no authority field home of the Mile High Chronic. Just bought some of those brownies at the Get Bake sale. Man, these guys can bake up here. I can hear colors, Grim. Hey, Grim, order me one of them corned beef and hash oil sandwiches. I got the munchies something bad. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Los Scandalous Volts go up against the Mile High Chronic. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all you can eat horse and buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with its two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and four. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and seven. Third down 
and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Right. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. And he snags the punt and look how with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. And it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Third down and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. First and ten. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and seven. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Close, but no cigar. First down and six. You can't oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second and three. And this game is up for grabs. Second and three. When defensive players go berserk, he caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And the offense 
says, I don't think so. They called a time warp dirty trick and negate that previous play like it never happened. Did it? Uh, does that mean that I didn't just chug this beer too or wet myself? <laughs> I am so confused. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And they just popped his eyes into the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, man. You know, they train those things to eat only visiting players. But when they're hungry, they'll eat anything. Yeah, sometimes I eat my toenails. Second down and a lot. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps offside to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. game picking up some steam a gain of seven there second and three he's supercharged and can elect oh he fumbled that one everyone loves being on the highlight reel leaping over defender but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose he's at the 30 the 20 the 10 and that's a fumble recovery in return for a touchdown what a great defensive play Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. He had it for a second there. down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, no. It's a sticky ball and dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. Hot two. Hot. 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 If he had getting killed by Contest 
I saw once where a guy carved an 18-foot statue of Paul Bunyan getting carved up by the Texas Chainsaw Guy. Disturbing, yet interesting. First down and five. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. He could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class, but as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Well, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, looks like a pee for me, too. Oh, man, what a throw. It's Sonic, and that is called for a first down. And they take their first timeout. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be. They used their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. There was an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the MFL. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Not we are, Quinn. That's a passing catch for no game. Then how is it a pass? <laughs> and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one, hot two.
Suarez needs a miracle. Man, the timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game is this close as the score indicates. <laughs> They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. of speed he finds an opening and the first down and it's first and ten first down I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again you know good communication is important hot one hot two hey. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. Yep. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. First and eight to go. Second down and nine. Third.
third down and long. was going to be explosive this week. He meant it literally. He's on piano now. I want Sean Kicker to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was Tripod Jenkins. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, he really wants it! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And he shoveled his feet so well on that play, he should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and four. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion! The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it.
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hey! Ten yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and inches. Hot, hot one, hot two, hey! And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hey! Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Hey, go game go. Second down and more than the QB would like. Six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hey. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Now they keep the ball on the ground, and it paid off. First down. When I played the game, we'd let them get a first down just to hit them four more plays. It was fun. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. Uh, I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hey! Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Hey. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Second and one. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down! 
Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. Yeah. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Yeah, And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, three. The nasty three. <laughs> Threat. You gotta keep him guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a sack there! I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's gonna play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach, he's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it. And the two minute warning sound. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hey. That's a nice catch for five yards. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standing when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. I'm a house camel on Silo. I am a hell of a Silo. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down in a very lot. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third down and ten. Running 
like a moose. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. The defender says, I don't think so. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And that pass finds its target, a pickup of six yards on the play. The Mile High Chronic lose the game. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Yeah, man, he's going to spit on that. You know what happened? with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.